I have done it. I have made a bedrock calculator that does not use binary. Huh, take that, bi binary nerds. Why does it not use binary? Is there like some reason why not using binary is better? If you don't know what binary is, ones and zeros. It's how most computers work. Like the computer you're watching this on. Okay, anyways. Um, no, not because it's better. In fact, I bet binary would be way better and more efficient. But honestly, binary scares me. And I did not feel like learning it. So I didn't. Instead, I made my own way to do stuff. So uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that. So essentially, this is the um, inputs, aka the, the numbers you want to add or subtract. So, you know, you'll do 9 and uh, 4. As you can see, 9 minus 4 equals 5. 9 plus 4 equals 13. It adds and subtracts at the same time. Because why not? I'll do a brief explanation on how it works. So essentially, this big chunky section here is just, it's just organizing these inputs into neat lines that can activate these pistons. And these pistons, so, so I have like number nine turned on. So it's the closest row of pistons, which tells all of these guys right here that there's a signal strength of nine and it uses basic signal strength mechanics to add them up. So. I've activated the fourth one. One, two, three, four. This is the fourth piston down here turned on, which adds them up. And as you can see, it ends up equaling 13, which is what is shown. Uh, there isn't a one as an output because one plus one equals two. And I'm not doing decimals. Essentially, the signals, uh, all the signals run down here and it takes the biggest number and tells the rest of them to turn off. As you can see, the end theory would be on, but they get turned off. And from here, it activates the one line, or it technically it's like the 10 line, but it tells that that one over there to turn on and it activates the second one as well through these. And that second one is actually um, number three because this is number two and there's no number one because again, one plus one equals two. Signals just go up and go into this big clunky boy, which tells it to show one and a three. So yeah, that's about how it works. Kind of uh, simplified, but if it was not simplified any further, I would have no retention. And I like retention. Speaking of retention, guys, look, look at this uh, fun thing I'm trying out to keep you guys motivated and stay watching. Isn't this so fun? Here's how the subtraction works. So it just takes the two lines, so uh, the two inputs. So it takes the upper one and then brings it down and the lower one and also brings it down. Uh, essentially, the upper one goes through here where it goes through its first stage of being how do I say, like, pro processed? I just, I pro it's just being put in a way that's usable. So it, by the time it reaches here, it not, it's a signal strength of nine because I activated the ninth lever over there. I know, magical. And it just runs through comparators, so it retains its signal strength. And then here, this just uh, makes sure the calculator refreshes every single time a new input is added because I had problems with it, like showing the same input at the same time. It, it, was, it was not very good. It just runs down here. And um, what revolutionary technique do I use to subtract two signal strengths? Did I build an entire calculator using binary? No, I ran it all into one comparator and the single comparator does all the subtracting. I know, revolutionary, it, it's so quirky. This is number four, it just runs down and makes sure it's by the time it reaches here. Eight equals four, they get subtracted, and the fifth output is activated. It tells all of the ones to the left, or the, all the smaller numbers, to turn off. So it, only this one is on, and it just runs down here and does the same thing as addition. And bam, it shows a five. Isn't this poggers? Anyways, I don't really know what else to do, so I'm gonna talk about things I would do to improve this. Number one, I had to <laughs> I had to turn up this world's simulation distance because this was too far away. Is there a specific reason why this is too far away? Not really. Like I could have just moved this forward 
and then had these upwards lines just go like forward i don't know why i made it so far back um because like i i don't really this is the first time i'd done this so like i was uh, still figuring a lot of stuff out and i thought it'd be easier to make it further back but looking back i, I think it'd be like the exact same if it wasn't further back but whatever uh and then over here honestly i feel like i did subtraction pretty well i could have made it like closer but it's fine i think i did subtraction pretty goodly the first version of this calculator could only do addition and not subtraction, but I made a second version that's cleaner and better and nicer and more well put together than the first version, and it has subtraction. I'll go ahead and show you the first rendition of the calculator. This is the 2.0 better version. We gotta get the full experience. Oh yeah. Alright, we'll add uh, 6 and nine, just, just for the memes. As you can see, that equals 15. So I didn't I didn't use a proper display. I just made like a bunch of numbers in a row. I don't know why I snake the signals around. I could have just had it like this, but whatever. Um, well, this is ugly. <laughs> As you can see, there's no blue concrete, which is uh, just uncharacteristic of me, but it uses the same mechanisms. Um, Oh, yeah, I didn't think to use just repeater locking. Instead, I used this goofy, like, piston mechanism to prevent all of them from being turned off. It's kind of a mess. It's kind of a, a mess back here. And it, it, oh my gosh. My, yeah, that's a, that is something. That sure is something. <laughs> how does it show 11? How does it, how does it show 11? Like that. It just flashes. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, I definitely improved and I don't really have anything else for the video. So like the like button and subscribe the subscribe button.